Hey, hello, this is Andrea, and today is Thursday, the 15th of September, 2022. And it looks warm outside, even though it was, <clears throat> excuse me, even though it was a chilly evening last night. I think it's pretty warm out. I'll probably go sit out there in a little bit. So I got, um, I don't know if I showed you this, that, that my... My character came in the mail from Hero Forge, my Meepog, <laughs> you know, for Dungeons and Dragons. But my son painted her, so I wanted to show you. I don't know how well you can see. She's holding a battle axe, a two-handed battle axe, and then she has throwing axes on the back. And she's got rope, because you always need rope, see? Gotta have, you gotta have rope. That's my, <laughs> that's my, uh, that's what I say in gaming. It's got to be rope, right? So guess what? One day, on Monday, I uh, slipped and fell in the shower. Yes, you heard it, folks. It, sound, it makes me feel old when... <laughs> Well, first of all, it had been over a year since I fell at all, okay? I used to fall a lot. I used to be a fall risk when I would go to the hospital. And I used to use a cane. I think I mentioned that before. But this fall in the shower was different because I stepped onto the mat. I'm holding onto the bar. I stepped onto the mat, and the mat slipped right out from under me. So supposed to be a skid proof slip proof mat but it slid out from under me but I'm fine you know um I think my arm hurts a little bit still I don't think you can see a bruise or anything but it hurts right here and then my hip hurt and my back but everything's fine there's nothing I'm all luckily I didn't hit my head or anything like that but Bob had to come in and help me get up and uh yeah Tell you what, nothing makes you feel incapable of stuff like falling in a <laughs> like falling in a shower. But I want to try and get some of those skid proof. Like we had those things that are stuck to the bottom of the tub, and and they've been there for so long that they've been peeling off. So that's why we have the the mat. But I want to see if I can get some more of those because they stick right to the tub and they're skid proof, you know. I don't know where I can find them. Maybe at Lowe's or something. I haven't seen them in so long. They must still make them, right? I'm guessing they do. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but needless to say, on Monday I was very grumpy. I didn't want to talk to anybody. First of all, I'm already, I think I'm a little rude sometimes when I talk to people because I don't, I mean, I try to be nice, but sometimes I'm rude. This is something I've come to uh, accept about myself. You know, after so many years, you come to accept. I'm not good at lying about stuff like, oh, how did you like the stew? You know, oh, it was great. No, that's, no. I will just try to avoid saying anything about it if I have to make some kind of judgment on how bad somebody's beef stew was or something. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. So, yesterday, one of my sons came home and he had a, he had a costume for the dog, for Ernie. So. I got it out as soon as I got it out of the bag Ernie like goes and runs to his bed because we have this rule that if he's in his bed you can't touch him you know the dogs gotta have they gotta feel like they have a safe place you know so he goes and he lays in his bed <laughs> eventually I get him to come out and then I put the costume on him and he just stands there like he's gonna like like he's scared to death with this costume on. I took a little bit of video of him with the costume on, you know, for
for perpetuity's sake because I don't think we're going to be putting it on him again. But here's the video right here. Come here. Ernie! Come on. Ernie! Come on. Are you the devil? He's like, <laughs> he doesn't like his costume. He's like, I don't like it. Where did Daddy go? Come on. Where did Daddy go? Daddy's getting you a snack because you're behaving. Ernie. Ernie, where's Daddy? Go find Daddy. Ernie. Ernie the devil. He's the devil dog. You burned it. There you go. Oh, jeez. Poor baby. Let's take the costume off now. <laughs> I know you're saying poor doggy. But after I took it off and Bob gave him a snack and gave him some, you know, petted him and everything like that. So he's good now. He did his his yearly uh <laughs> costume duty. <laughs> he bought this cut I guess I think he I think my son just wanted to entertain me because <laughs> my son's not really that into the dog uh, the one that bought the costumes not my youngest son he loves he lo my, my youngest son loves all animals he's all over the place anyway look at this <laughs> this is everywhere today look at this coupon I got in the mail 20% off at Spirit. Remember when this used to be called Spirit Halloween? Now it's just called Spirit. Spirit. It says 20% off any single item. And there's three exceptions. The three exceptions are Jumping Spider, Sitting Scarecrow, and Man's Possessed Friend. Got to use this by October 24th. I might use it. I, I might use it. I might want a costume or something. I wanted to make a costume this year, but I haven't been up to it. I have costume ideas in my head, different things I want to be. I always want to be, I always want to be, um, what is her name? Domergu. I can't think of her name. first name. Is it Daisy? Daisy Domergu from The Hateful Eight. You know, <laughs> she's... She's handcuffed to the one guy. I just want to have her handcuffed, but on the other part of the handcuff is like a fake arm. Because, you know, she she gets it off at one point. I like her character. She's interesting. And then there's like, I like the witches from Hocus Pocus. And I like that... Um, well, Sally from The Nightmare for Before Christmas, I like her because her dress is all sewn together like a like a Frankenstein type thing. She's an okay character, but she's got a really cool outfit. Anyway, are you going to dress up for Halloween? Maybe that's for kids. I don't know. Why do kids get to do all the fun stuff? She whines. <laughs> it's not like I drink alcohol or anything. I gotta do something else. Well, let's see. I can't think of anything else to say, so I hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.